Hello everyone and welcome to Psycho Basket. Today we're going to draw a robot that you will absolutely love. Let's begin with drawing this robot. What do you need? First you need a sheet of paper. I've taken just a plain sheet of paper. You can draw in your notebook, sketchbook, anything you like. And some colors. I'm using colored sketch pens today. You can use any colors you want. You can use your pencil colors, crayons, your markers or just paint. To begin, uh, draw a small square. This is going to be our robot's face. Then from this face, we're going to draw his neck, which is going to connect to his body. That is going to be a rectangle. Now, a rectangle is like a square, but it is not a square. Because in a rectangle, the opposite sides, as you can see, are of equal length. And in a square, all four sides are equal. The next thing we're going to draw is his legs. Again, two parallel lines just extending downwards. These are his legs. For his feet, I'm going to make small rectangles. That's one foot and that's the other foot. Now his arms, one of his arms is going to be on this side. Again, just two parallel lines extending downwards. And one arm is going to wave at us. This arm. So, Robots, as you know, can do many different things. They can sing, they can dance, they can do a lot of work for us. Our robot is gonna do some baking. So, we are gonna give him oven mitts for hands. Some might think it's a boxing glove, but no, it's an oven mitt. That's his hand. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is draw another smaller rectangle inside his body to give it some layers. And inside the body, I'm going to draw a display screen. This display screen is how the robot talks to us. He cannot speak. So whatever he wants to say is just displayed on the screen here. It's like an iPad, but stuck to his chest. Now for his eyes, I'm going to draw two ovals in the face. And I'm going to draw a smaller oval inside it and an even smaller one inside it. And the same thing here small oval and a smaller oval for the eyes we're going to color only the one oval in the center and we're not going to color the smallest one just the one in the center color it like that there you go that's his eyes for his ears we're going to have two small rectangles and give him two antennas sticking out of his ears just a circle at the end of a line now a line and a circle can color it in and on his head also let's make an antenna let's just make a squiggly line going up like that that's where he gets his Wi-Fi connectivity from that's our robot now robots are made of metal and metal is put together with what with screws nuts and bolts so our robot is gonna have a few screws on his body ones over here on his elbows screws for his knees and his body is going to be held together with screws as well. There's four little screws in four corners. And that's it. I think we have drawn our robot. We just need to give him a smile. Obviously, we don't want him to be sad. So we're going to give him a smile. Just a small semicircle turned upwards. The next step is to go in and color our robot. Um, I'm going to go with blue color for his body. I think it will look really nice. So let's take our blue color and color the body being very careful not to color inside the screws or the display screen that we've drawn there we go. such a lovely color you can color in any direction you want straight lines slanting lines and try to stay within the lines there you go what he's done um, next we can color his limbs his arms and his legs so let's start with his arm I'm gonna color it red notice I'm not coloring his hands and I won't be coloring his feet red either just the arm color it red very carefully Grab this one and I'm also not coloring the screws that we've drawn for the robot's 
knees and elbows. We can color that in a different color, probably a yellow or a green or a blue later on. Now for his hands, we are going to take green and we're taking dark green for his hands. That one makes a dark green and the other hand, dark green and his feet, rectangular little feet, dark green color. Once you've colored that, the next step is, oh, I think we forgot to color his neck. Let's color that in the same color as his hands and his legs, as his arms and his legs, sorry. That's his neck, red in color, and his ears, also red. Now, um, let's take my favorite color, yellow, and color in the display screen. It looks really good against the blue body. And oh, the water is almost ready. And we're going to color his face yellow as well. Now for the face, for the face, we have to be very sure not to color inside the eyes. We don't want his eyes to be yellow. Just his face. Let me draw that. Almost ready. What you can also do is... Uh, color this rectangle the one that's just outside the main body uh, we're going to color it in orange to make the robot look a little more colorful we're going to take our yellow color again and color all our screws yellow if you don't have screws my robot will not stay all together it will fall apart I think our robot's almost ready now. We just have to decide what message is he going to give us in this display screen. What do you want him to write? Good morning, hello. I think our robot is going to say hi. With an exclamation. That's it. Our robot is ready. He loves baking. His name is, I don't know, let's say Mr. Robot. And I do hope you enjoyed drawing this. Please share pictures and like this video if you did and subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Thanks. Bye.